everybody. Welcome back to 15 Minute Chef. Um, if you guys are like me, you have gone through the holidays and you've been turkeyed out. So today's episode, I'm going to show you what you can do with some of your leftovers to lighten your refrigerator's load and hopefully give you new ideas and new ways to do something with your leftovers. Today's idea is kind of a tradition of ours, uh, the day after Thanksgiving or Christmas, what to do with the turkey. So today we're gonna make a um, turkey pot pie instead of a chicken pot pie. Um, if you guys are liking these videos, please don't forget to like them and to subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can put comments and I'll, I'll try to answer you guys as fast as possible. So the first thing we're gonna do is start on our crust, which reminds me, let's go ahead and put our oven on 350 and get it hot and get it going. I got my casserole dish, which I'm going to spray with some non-stick spray. I buy this Pillsbury pie crust. It works really great for what I need. I washed my hands. I cheated a little bit today. I washed my hands before I started up the camera. Um, so I got clean hands. I love these pie crusts. They're already kind of rolled out. It's easy to use. And as you know, uh, especially when you're a working mom, even if it is the holidays, you're limited on time. So we're gonna unfold this and we're just gonna kind of roll it out with our hands. We're gonna put it in here in our little <coughs> casserole dish, spread it out. We're in front of a live studio audience tonight, a live eating studio audience tonight. So we got our so we got it in here, so I'm going to turn on the second video so y'all can see me putting it in there. So you're just going to kind of spread it with your fingers around in the pie dish, I mean in your casserole dish. This is one of my favorite casserole dishes that I bought from a place. It's a um, kind of like a pottery born and it's on the Texas well, uh, Texas Louisiana line on our way to Dallas every year and we stop in there and we always buy some ceramics and this is one of my favorite ones that I get. Okay so in my mixing bowl I got some chopped up turkey. Mmm yum. I don't know if y'all know I have a dog named Dieters I'm sure you probably know because you see her in every video. She finds a way to get in. So that was her in the background if you heard her. So we're going to chop up a little broccoli that I steamed in a, I bought like broccoli steamers and I steam them in the microwave and then I like to chop them up a little bit so I don't have these massive pieces of broccoli in my pot pie. And you can put whatever vegetables that you like. I'm just a big fan of broccoli. I try to hide it and everything for the kids. Like I try to puree it and put it in brownies. So they don't know. I do the same thing with spinach too, but I think they're on to me lately. So I got some peas and I got some carrots. I'm also chopping up to go in there. And then my other two magical ingredients, or should I say my other three magical ingredients in here is gonna be uh, cream of chicken. You don't have to buy the Campbell's kind, although I do think it makes a difference when, with the Campbell's because they, Campbell's taste great. Um, but you can buy the Walmart brand too, which I do also. Um, sorry, I forgot to chop my carrots. Let's chop those bad boys up. I'm not putting as much carrots because I'm not a big fan of carrots. However, my live studio audience is. Um, we're also gonna put some Philadelphia cream cheese and we're gonna put some shredded cheese. The Philadelphia cream cheese just adds another layer of really niceness to it and it also thickens it up a little bit. So what we what you're gonna do with the Philly cream cheese, and I don't usually buy name brand like Philadelphia cream cheese. Just in this scenario, it was on sale yesterday. I think because it's after the holidays, so there's a lot of stuff that's on sale. We're gonna put it in the microwave for one minute. Make sure you cover it because um, cream cheese likes to explode in the microwave. All right, 
right. So we got all this stuff that's in here. Let's see if I can get it on my second camera. I'm going to slide this over. Just got all that good stuff in there. We're going to add um, our Sargento shredded cheese whole bag. We like it. And listen, you may not be able to use all this filling. So what I'll do also is, if I have any filling left over, I'm going to go ahead and freeze it. And then I'll label it. I'll go ahead and label it so that the next time I want to make it, I'll already have the filling made. Get my trusty spatula and my bigger spatula. That whole pan in there. Yummy. Um, I'm going to also tonight, this is like super vegetable tonight. We're also going to have, um, a nice Caesar salad to go with it. And let me explain why I pick Caesar salad to go with this dish because Caesar salad has like a little bit of a bite to it. And, you know, like, a you know, cause Caesar's made from mustard and um, it has a little bit of a acid to it. So when you generally, when you're doing something that's very creamy, you want to pair it with something that has acidity because it compl they complement each other. I gotta stop with a small spatula because that guy's just not getting the job done. Notice I said guy. Uh, here we go with the cream cheese. And so now we're just gonna kind of blend all this in. Um, if you want it a little creamier, you can add an extra can of cream and mushroom. It just depends on what you like. I don't like mine to, I don't like my chicken pot pies or my turkey pot pies to runny, which is why I don't like the frozen ones. Because to me, a lot of times they're like mushy, runny, gush, which I'm not real fond of. Okay, so you guys are seeing this. It's a nice, thick, vegetable, meaty, creamy, delicious filling. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna start filling this bad boy up. good. I told y'all there's a good chance we weren't going to use all of it. Put a little bit more. The dog is getting excited because she thinks that she's getting the rest of it. She's not. She is not. <laughs> right? She's like, come on, man. You've got to give it to me. I'm a dog. My years are limited. Hook me up. So we've got a nice filled chicken pot pie, I mean a turkey pot pie, I keep saying chicken pot pie. Um, and now we're going to do the top. Now here's the deal with the top. A lot of debate on that. You can put the whole thing, you can put strips and look, make it look decorative. It's totally up to you, whatever you're thinking. Um, for me, the crust is the best part and it's the part I like the most. So I'm going to put the whole thing. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I'm getting a thumbs up from the audience. So I'm going with, that's what I'm going with. Especially since one of them's mom. <laughs> My stepdad's all about it too. He's like, yeah, I'm good. So we're just going to put it on top. Now I will tell you this. Um, and you ladies, you can make it as pretty as you want to. You can do like the little finger pressing. You can even do a, a little of this action that we learned in school where you can, you know, come with your fork and make it decorative on the side. It's totally up to you. My people, they don't care. My people don't care about decorative. My people care about eating. <laughs> exactly. They don't care about decorative. They care about eating and how fast can we get this in our mouth. So, but you do need to make some slits in this. Uh, to let some of the steam escape. So I will make a few slits like this. So it'll be somewhat decorative. It won't get crazy or anything. So we're gonna throw this in the oven. When it's done and it comes out, I'm gonna give you guys a peep and look. Uh, and then we'll, we'll make our Caesar salad at that time and we'll be ready to rock and roll. 
So I'll uh, see you back here in just a few seconds. Mm. Hey, this is the mm. Demon and Chef. We're back. The Popeye is ready and it is looking great. It just came out the oven. What we're going to do now is I got to keep a little soft butter right here um, and we're going to just kind of paint our top with a little butter because you know butter makes everything taste better. Got a nice uh, pretty brown on the top. Probably a little more than I like, but my husband will probably love it that color. He likes it like that. Nice and crisp. A little butter on top. It's looking good. So it's looking good. Now we're going to do our Caesar salad to go with it. I got some nice romaine right here that uh, we're going to chop up. Now what you do with the romaine, let me slide this over so you can see. This very tip part, I, we cut off. That's going to be like a wilted edge that you don't want to use. And as you get further and further through the stalk, this is the part, actually between here and here is the part, I don't know if you can see this, between here and here is the part that contains the most nutrients. So when you're making a Caesar, don't be afraid to go deep in. So you can see this is how much I have left. This part, if you actually variegate it in water, you can grow another romaine from it. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. We've already washed our romaine lettuce. So we're going to throw it in. Same thing here. We're going to cut the top right off. Get rid of that. Now, when my stepsons are here, I'm going to tell you right now. See this? I'll, this is what I will feed them. But since it's all adults tonight, we're going to go with the whole mix of things. Okay. I got some croutons. Um, if you're in a hurry, you can buy already made croutons. Sometimes I make them from scratch. It just depends on how much time I really have on my hands. This is 15 minutes chef, so we don't have a whole lot. So we're going to go with some croutons right over the top. I got a little bit of Brennan's... Uh, Nice Caesar dressing, Asiago Caesar with me. I got in my refrigerator some aged Parmesan that I'm going to grate right on top of my Caesar salad. <clears throat> as soon as I find my grater, put it right over the top. Catch it all on the other camera. I like a lot of Parmesan cheese. Don't make fun of me. Cheese is king. Oh, not that much. There we go. And then to top it all off, which I think makes it taste better with when you're eating Caesar, is some fresh black pepper. Mmm, looking nice. All right, everybody, that's 15 Minute Chef. It was good seeing y'all today. If you like the program and you like what you're seeing, please don't forget to subscribe. Leave me any notes you would like or feedback or if there's something you specifically want to see, um, and I'll be more than happy to try and do that for you. You guys have a happy holidays. It's great seeing you.